Hi guys, so you're like, why the fuck are you making a transfer paper, tattoo transfer paper, how-to video? Because I know some people, like myself, may be curious about how to do stencils for stick and poke or just tattoos in general. And I'm not saying I'm some fucking professional. I know some people out there are like, how do you not know how to do transfer paper? I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I really struggled. And no matter how many articles I read or... How many people I talked to, like my friend who's a professional tattoo artist, she tried to explain it to me over text. I could not fucking understand. Um, there's one video on YouTube that kind of, that helped me. Um, and it was just silent. And so I want to make a video like talking through the steps, I guess. Because I feel like that's a huge thing going on in quarantine right now. People picking up a lot of different things like stick and poke and shit. So these are the things that you're going to need a pen some scissors your transfer paper and a hard surface and deodorant don't use the same deodorant that you're using on your armpits or wherever on your thighs don't use the same one get a clean one you can literally go to dollar tree and get a speed stick one but i just have this random piece of wood i got from target but it helps me have a hard surface um which i learned obviously is very important so this is going to be the transfer paper you're going to have one, two, three, four pieces of paper. And that noise in the background is my cat. You don't need this top paper whatsoever. So if you want to, you can just take this off. So what is, it, what is important is this paper right here. This is going to be the paper that's going to go onto your skin. So this flimsy guy is going to go back in between. This is where it originally was. So you literally don't have to do anything. You can just leave it under there. And be careful with the ink. So I think my cat bit this one. So it already marked it. Be careful because the ink is hard to get off your skin. I mean, it can come off, but it's hard to get off of like surfaces too. Um, my friend who's a tattoo artist told me that hand sanitizer works really, really well, which it does. Like you just put a little bit on it and it just wipes right off. And then if you have green soap, if it gets on you, obviously it could just wipe off. So, for this, we'll just make, um, I don't know, a smiley face. Nothing too crazy. And then don't ever draw on top of it because obviously then it will just go onto the paper. So, draw separately. So, I'm going to put this paper, you can use any paper, whatever you decide to. Last time I just used notebook paper. Just make sure it's right on top and you're just going to draw over it. And you don't have to, I mean, I pushed down a little bit, but not like crazy. Obviously, that shit looks like a joker now. But anyway, take that shit off. And you'll see the indention right there. Is that a word? That's a word. And then, boom, that's that. So then, you would take your scissors. And this probably wasn't a good spot, because now that shit's going to go onto my skin, too, the dots. But... Just cut out your little thing. And then wherever you want to put this, just take a deodorant. This is I this is not the same one I use on my armpits, so please don't do that because that could be bad. Um there's just a new one I had, so I just used it. But, um remember whatever you put on it, it's gonna be backwards. But obviously I just did this smiley face, so it's gonna be the same. Um so the side you drew on obviously is the side that's gonna go. So I drew on the side, it's gonna flip onto my arm. And I like to press down and like hold it for 30 seconds. So those dots that my cat made are definitely gonna go onto my skin, so just ignore that. But it's a really shitty one, but that is how you use tattoo transfer paper. So then all you have to do is just follow the lines. Obviously I made them extremely fucking thick and I was moving the paper around. But if you just hold it still, Whatever, and just be careful again with the ink. And so it really doesn't smudge that much. If you just let it dry for a little bit. But um, other than that, that's it.